Homeless girl finds her picture inside a millionaire's wallet. On a cold Christmas Eve in Los Angeles, the city was aglow with twinkling lights and festive decorations. In the midst of this holiday cheer, a young girl named Emily, only 12 years old, trudged through the snow-covered streets. Her coat, thin and frayed, did little to shield her from the biting cold that nipped at her cheeks, turning them a rosy red. Emily's stomach groaned with hunger, a sound that had become her constant and unwanted companion. She had not known the warmth of a holiday meal or the comfort of a family's embrace in what seemed like a lifetime. Emily's world was vastly different from the laughter-filled homes she passed by. Through frosted windows, she glimpsed families gathered around their dinner tables, their lives a series of shadows against the backdrop of brightly lit Christmas trees. The laughter and music that spilled out onto the streets from these homes filled the air with a joy that felt foreign to her. Emily pressed her face against a chilly window pane, watching a family raise their glasses in a toast. She could almost taste the sweet tang of the apple cider they sipped, almost hear the crinkle of wrapping paper as gifts were exchanged. It was a scene from a different world, one where happiness and plenty were the norm, not the exception. The disparity between her life and theirs was stark, and as Emily moved on, her feet guided her to an affluent neighborhood known for its grand mansions and extravagant holiday displays. The lawns were adorned with life-size reindeer and sleighs, rooftops were lined with glowing icicles, and one could almost believe that the magic of Christmas was real. It was here, amid the discarded remnants of the rich and fortunate, that Emily hoped to find scraps of food that had been thoughtlessly thrown away. As she rummaged through the bins, her fingers numb with cold, she marveled at the waste, half-eaten pastries, chunks of cheese, and even a few slices of turkey. To Emily, these discarded morsels were a banquet. She filled her belly with the leftovers. Each bite savored, each morsel a small victory against her daily fight for survival. It was during this search for sustenance that her life's trajectory veered into the extraordinary. Amongst the refuge, her hand brushed against something that wasn't food. Pulling it out, she found a wallet, rich leather and still in good condition. Curiosity peaked. She opened it to find cash, credit cards, and a photo that would forever alter the course of her life. In the photograph, a well-dressed couple smiled back at her, but it was the girl in the middle who caught her breath. She bore an uncanny resemblance to Emily. Her hair, her eyes, her smile, it was like looking into a mirror. For a moment, Emily stood frozen, the winter air forgotten, her hunger abated. Could these be her parents? Why then did she not remember them? Her heart pounded with a mix of excitement and fear. The implications of this discovery were too vast for her young mind to fully comprehend. As Emily clutched the wallet close to her chest, she knew that this Christmas Eve was unlike any other. The photograph had ignited a glimmer of hope in her heart, a hope that perhaps she was not alone in this world, as she had thought. With newfound determination, she resolved to seek out the owner of the wallet. Little did she know, her journey would lead her to a door that held behind it answers to questions she hadn't even known to ask, and a family she thought only existed in dreams. The night was still, the stars above her head twinkled in the clear sky, and for the first time in a long time, Emily felt the stirrings of a Christmas miracle was about to unfold. In the heart of Los Angeles, in a mansion as grand as any castle, the Thompson family was enveloped in the soft glow of Christmas lights. The opulent living room was decked with garlands of evergreen, sparkling ornaments, and a towering fir tree that touched the ceiling, its branches heavy with silver and gold. The scene was picture-perfect, the embodiment of holiday spirit, yet the air was tinged with an undercurrent of melancholy. At the end of the household stood Edward Thompson, a man whose success was only matched by the depth of his sorrow. His wife, Michelle, stood beside him, her elegant features etched with the permanent lines of worry and loss. They were the power couple behind Thompson Pharmaceuticals, a name synonymous with innovation and philanthropy. But behind the accolades and the wealth, the Thompsons carried a burden that no amount of money could alleviate. 
Twelve years ago, on a night much like this, their world had shattered. Their youngest daughter, Lily, had been kidnapped right out of her crib. Despite the resources at their disposal, the exhaustive searches and the years of investigation, Lily had never been found. Christmas, which once held the promise of family and joy, now arrived each year with a reminder of their most profound pain. Edward poured himself a glass of aged whiskey, the amber liquid catching the light from the fireplace. He raised the glass to a photograph on the mantel, a family portrait with his two daughters, Zoe and Lily, in happier times. Zoe, now twelve, the mirror image of the sister she barely remembered, except for the sadness in her eyes that seemed beyond her years. Edward's heart ached as he thought of Lily. Would she be like Zoe? What kind of person would she have become? Michelle busied herself with the final touches to the Christmas dinner, a ritual that brought little comfort. Each clink of silverware, each fold of the napkin, was a reminder of the empty chair at the table. She looked at Zoe, who was arranging the place settings with care, her young face set with determination to keep the family tradition alive. You've done a beautiful job, Michelle said, her voice catching lightly. Zoe looked up, her smile tinged with the same resilience that had seen her through the shadow that Lily's disappearance had cast over her childhood. As the dinner hour approached, the three of them gathered around the table. Edward spoke of gratitude, his voice thick with emotion. This year we embrace the spirit of Christmas, not the shadow, he said, his hand resting on Zoe's shoulder. Michelle nodded, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. She spoke of love and the strength they found in each other, in Zoe's unwavering spirit. But even as they tried to kindle the flame of hope and joy, the absence of Lily was like a silent specter at the feast. The sumptuous spread of food, the luxurious surroundings, none of it could mask the void in their hearts. They were a family fractured, holding on to each other amidst the splendor and the grief. As the clock neared midnight, the world outside their grand home was silent, blanketed by the serenity of winter and the unspoken wishes of those searching for miracles. Inside, the Thompsons raised their glasses in a toast to love, to family, and to the memory of Lily. The clink of crystal was a fragile sound, a poignant reminder of the fragility of joy, and the strength found in the face of enduring sadness. And in the stillness of that Christmas Eve, a doorbell rang, slicing through the quiet, a herald of change. The echo of the chime signaled the end of one story and the beginning of another, the first note in the melody of a miracle that was about to unfold. The evening air on Christmas Eve held a brisk chill as Emily stood before the ornate door of the Thompson residence. The wallet in her hand felt like the heaviest object she had ever carried, laden with the potential of what it represented. She hesitated, her heart pounding in her chest, and her breath visible in the frosty air. With a deep breath that did little to steady her nerves, she raised her hand and rang the doorbell. Inside, the festive atmosphere had settled into a calm warmth. The Thompsons were gathered around their dining table, trying to anchor themselves in the present and the company of one another, attempting to stave off the memories of Christmas's past that were missing one precious member. The sound of the doorbell cut through the stillness, a discordant note in the evening symphony. Edward rose, his brows furrowed in confusion. Who could it be at this late hour? The anticipation of a visitor was an unusual occurrence on such a night, and it brought a sense of foreboding. He moved towards the door, the soles of his shoes echoing on the marble floor. Michelle looked up from the table, her eyes following her husband's path. Zoe, sensing the shift in the air, put down her fork, her attention drawn to the unfolding scene. The simple act of answering the door had suddenly become momentous, an interruption that felt like the prelude to something profound. Edward reached the door and opened it to find Emily, her small frame barely filling the doorway, her eyes wide and hopeful. He was struck by her appearance, so reminiscent of the photograph he had been just looking at, the one that sat atop the mantel. The family resemblance was uncanny, and for a moment he was rendered speechless. From the dining room, Michelle's voice called out, a note of concern threading through her words. She rose, moving towards her husband, only to stop in her tracks as she caught sight of the visitor. 
Her hand flew over her mouth, a gasp escaping her lips. Could it be? Was it even possible? Emily stood feeling the weight of the moment. She offered the wallet to Edward, her voice barely above a whisper. Good evening. Are you Mr. Thompson? I found this. I think you might have lost it. The simple act of returning a lost item was suddenly laden with significance. As Edward took the wallet, their eyes locked, and a silent communication passed between them. Questions hung in the air, heavy and unspoken. In that brief exchange, the foundation of their world began to shift. The pieces of a long, unsolved puzzle started to click into place. The door to the Thompsons' home stood ajar, framing Emily in the soft light that spilled out into the cold Christmas night. Edward's hand trembled as he accepted the wallet, his mind racing with disbelief and dawning realization. Michelle, standing a step behind, shared a look with her husband that spoke volumes of the fear and hope that surged within them. Zoe, drawn by the strange current of emotion, left her seat and approached the doorway. In that moment, as their eyes all met, the night seemed to hold its breath. Emily's presence, an echo of a long-lost memory, was a mirror reflecting a past that they'd all tried to move on from. Yet here it was, confronting them in the gentle guise of a girl with eyes that matched their missing lilies. Zoe edged closer, her young face alight with a mixture of confusion and curiosity. She peered at Emily, sensing the familiar in the lines of her face, the curve of her chin, the way her hair fell across her forehead. It was like looking back in time at a reflection she had seen in her own baby pictures at a sister she had never truly known but always missed. Are you... Zoe started, her voice trailing off as emotion thickened in her throat. The rest of the question was lost, but it wasn't needed. The air was heavy with words unspoken, with years of questions that had remained unanswered. Edward, a man of science and logic, found himself grappling with the reality that seemed to defy both. The wallet, a mundane item, had become the key to unlocking a door they had thought permanently closed. He looked down at Emily, and in her gaze he saw the flicker of recognition, the innate connection that family shares. Michelle, propelled by a mother's instinct, moved past her husband and knelt before Emily. She reached out, her hands shaking as she touched the girl's face, searching for the daughter they had lost. Tears pooled in her eyes, spilling over as she pulled Emily into an embrace that was both a greeting and a plea for forgiveness for not finding her sooner. Zoe joined them, her arms wrapping around both her mother and the sister she had wished for every Christmas since she could remember. There in the entryway of their home, the Thompsons found themselves whole again, their hearts mending in the presence of a miracle only the magic of Christmas could have brought them. The reunion unfolded as if in a dream, the kind where the impossible becomes the everyday. The Thompson home, once shadowed by loss, now resonated with the sound of incredulous laughter and tearful exclamations. Edward and Michelle ushered Emily, no, Lily, Emily into the warmth of the house they had longed for her to return to. They sat in the living room, the Christmas tree lights casting a gentle glow on the scene. Edward and Michelle listened, hearts heavy with emotion, as Lily, Emily, recounted her life since the day she was taken. The streets had been cruel, but she had found kindness in unlikely places, with a makeshift family of those forgotten by society. Her resilience was astounding, a testament to the strength of the human spirit. Zoe sat beside Lily Emily, their hands clasped tightly. She studied her sister's face, memorizing every detail, as if to make up for all those lost years. The resemblance between them was striking not just in looks, but in their mannerisms, the way they both tilted their heads when they laughed, a laugh that had now returned to the Thompson household. In the days that followed, the family wove Lily Emily back into the fabric of their lives. They shared stories, filling in the gaps of a decade apart. Edward, moved by the generosity of the homeless community that had raised Lily Emily, established a foundation in her honor. The Lily Emily Thompson Foundation would provide shelter and new beginnings for those who had protected his daughter when he could not. Zoe and Lily Emily became inseparable, making up for the time they had lost, each moment together a precious gift. They were two halves of a whole, reunited at last. 
The Thompson's Christmas gatherings, once subdued by sorrow, were now vibrant with the joy of Lily Emily's return. Laughter echoed through the halls, and the clinking of glasses was no longer a toast to what had been lost but to what had been found. The story of the Thompsons and their Christmas miracle spread, a tale of hope that warmed the hearts of all who heard it. Lily Emily's return was not the final chapter of their story, but the beginning of a new one, where each moment was cherished and love was the guiding light. It was a reminder that sometimes life could surprise you with joy that made all the waiting worthwhile.